interesting thoughts off of my iPad 3 today. And when I mention that to you, uh, it's something that um, I bring up for the very purpose that when I ordered this from Apple, you know, you had the option of putting the engraving on the back. And so I sat and mulled that over for a period of time. Didn't know if I should. Do I commit? Do I not? And then I realized, you know what? Everything that I do boils down to this very simple concept. And it's actually something that came to me about 10, 12 years ago when my father passed away. And here's the deal. I, I want to make the point because I think that it all relates back to what AWC stands for and why we do what we do in AWC, whether or not we articulate it this way. On the back of my iPad, I had the words, follow your bliss engraved, right? In part also because the new heirlooms of today are things like my iPad 3 because my seven-year-old will likely end up with this eventually and I won't have the watch with the nice engraving. I'll have my iPad <laughs> to give her, right? It's a nice message to share. Uh, but my whole point in saying this is the fact that it's a mantra that I take seriously. And back in 1909 when this group started at the University of Washington in Seattle with seven inspired young women who had dreams and schemes that they wanted to make their lives better. They wanted to connect. They wanted to communicate. They started this group. Many years later, many professional communicators later, many groups later, we are still here. And we are doing the exact same thing. We are looking for ways to connect and communicate more effectively. And what makes today exciting is all of the avenues that we can use now. It overwhelms, but it also creates opportunities. And when I listen to all of you speak, it gets me excited because I know that each of you have your own passion that you're following in the vein of communicating. It doesn't matter if you do it actually as your official job or you're just living your life every day. How you communicate, how you connect is important. AWC National has so many things that we're trying to put together all the time from national webinars where we're uh, offering different topics for communicators to become more effective at what they do to night owl webinars, series where we can uh, encourage people to bring wine and cheese events to their living rooms and kind of just get the girlfriends or the guy friends together. We always welcome men. It's unfortunate that uh, we have women in the title sometimes because we do love having men involved in AWC, despite the fact that lifting women up is always something that is of importance to us. In addition, tweet chats. We have job boards that can send you alerts on the things that, uh, you know, when you're looking for a better position, whether you feel like you're underemployed or you're simply unemployed. Uh, and we're always looking for new educational opportunities with our national National Conference, ways to bring people together and get them to connect and network. So as you are here today and you meet people, I hope that you will know that we see you. I see you. Whether or not you have, uh, you're in the early stages of your career, you're working in a corporation and you're trying to find your best fit there. You're starting your own company. You dream of a creative endeavor and you just haven't taken that final step to make that happen. I have been through that. And so many of us in the room have been through the very same thing. A group like Women in Communications is where you all come together and you look at each other and you say, we get it. We get you. So I want to mention one thing about this follow your bliss idea. 10, 12 years ago, I was at a street festival. And uh, my father had just passed away. And I was just trying to find my way a bit. And uh, I walked into a tent. And in that tent, I saw this young college woman. And she was toiling away. And she was making jewelry. And this particular ring on my finger uh, is one of the rings that she was working on. And she put inspiring messages on the rings as she pounded away with her metal tools. And there are messages that inspired her. And the whole point of what she was doing was to raise money so that she could go to college and she could better herself. Well, that speaks to me like nothing else. So I not only bought the ring, it does say, follow your bliss. And I wear it all the time to remind myself that if I do nothing else in this world, I will do that. And I hope that you, in your activities with AWC, find that that is what you are experiencing. Thank you so much for coming today and having me.